Guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's BTC Gambler here. I hope you're all well. It's been a long time since I've done a video and there is a reason for that. I don't want to go into it today. In this video, we're going to be covering the murky world of betting on a server and a client seed. I'm going to do my best to explain it without getting too geeky, too technical. But I can tell you now, there is so much misinformation regarding betting on a, on a seed that I'm going to demystify it all today. And it's going to be really important because I've got so much more to show you. I've written some code, I've recreated the casino, and I can test things on mess. And I'm, everything I do today, I'm going to be making available for free on GitHub, on a GitHub repository. And it's going, you can download everything I'm about to show you. But first and foremost, I need to get the basics out of the way. So if you take particularly any stake originals games, in this instance, we're going to choose dice. And if we look at get any particular game here, so I'm not going to explain the mechanics of the game, but what we're going to do here, if I say, for example, in throughout this whole testing, I'm going to be chasing 5.5. 5.5x is an 18% win chance. Does that make sense? In fact, what I've done, I've done a whole bunch of bets where if you look at my, my bets and you will see, and if I just pick one at random here, you'll see that I lost that one. But, and I, they're all like that. But most important things we're going to be looking at is this bit down here called the privilege fairness. So the server seed is there and the client seed is there and something called a nonce. So if you don't know this already, for more importantly, if you do know this already, I apologize for teaching you guys for sake because there will be some people out there that do know this, but there are loads of people that don't. And the ones that do know about this, I've got so many misconceived ideas about this that I need to set the record straight, absolutely. So if you don't know, the, the way that the betting works on stake originals is that you have something called a server seed, which is generated by the casino, and you have something called the client seed, which is generated by the client. Now, you can specify your own client seed. If you don't specify your own client seed, it generates a random say, a series of letters and numbers to create a random client seed every single time. The server seed is hashed when you play it. So that was what the hash version of it was, and that's encrypted using SHA-256. For anybody that knows, SHA-256 is the same technology used for online banking. So if you're able to crack that, you will not be going after casinos you'd have much bigger fish to fry. You could go and hack a, a bank. <laughs> so trust me, the way that the casino have encrypted the server seed, it is unhackable. Anybody that thinks they can un can crack it, yeah, you've got no chance. So rest assured, all you need to know at this stage here that the server seed and the client seed are the most important things here. And when they get combined, they produce something called a master seed, which is basically a number and it's a mathematical number that they can use to calculate every bet. So once you've got your master seed, there's something called a nonce. And you always start off at nonce position one. So every time you place a bet on a casino, it moves on a nonce position. And every single nonce position can be calculated from that master seed. So this makes it what they call provably fair. So you can go and check. You know, there's no way the casino can manipulate the result. In fact, the casino, because they can see the client seed and they can see the server seed, they will actually know the outcome of your bet before you, your bet is placed. However, there's nothing they can do about it. There is nothing. They can't manipulate that bet at all. Now, what the casino do is they actually show you how this is generated. And if you go down here, this is the murky worlds of the casino that probably nobody ever goes to. And you click on fairness and you click on implementation. Here is the mathematics they use to calculate every single bet on every single nonce. So um, there's a few urban myths out there. And some of the myths that I just want to completely destroy right now, some people believe that the server seed is pre-populated like and there's like the first million bets are pre-populated in the seed so the casino can bet fast. That's a lie. <laughs> Every nonce position is calculated using that mathematical formula. Some people believe that the server seed loops back on itself because it can't be infinite. I'll destroy that myth as well. 
because you can calculate any nonce position from here to infinity onwards and it will return a random result every single time it doesn't need a database it's not a database of a long string of numbers it's literally calculated every time using this mathematical formula here another myth that i want to get rid of is some people think that the rtp or the house edge is built into the seed and i want to again demystify that and i could tell you that is 100 percent not the case the house edge is if we go into dice is built into the pay into the payout so for example here in order to get two times your money you can't do a 50 50 win chance you have to do a 49.5 percent which means the house hedge here is one percent because it's either side of that 50 percent so this is a one percent house hedge game so the rtp is built into the payout not into the seed and there are loads of other weird and wonderful myths out there some think that 10,000 x pays out every first 10,000 bets and some people believe that the the seed is predetermined within the first 1 million bets to have an extreme event and um, to destroy new players. In fact, there are loads of urban myths. There's, I'm sure you've heard of many more than I have and I just want to dispel every single one of those. It is a pure random number generator. When the house edge is built into the payback, any random number will do. Now you think, what is the point of all of this? Why am I telling you this? What, what is insightful? Well, I'm going to show you some stuff here now. So I'm going to go to Visual Studio and I'm going to show to you that I have recreated exactly what the casino do in order to calculate out the bet result on any nonce position. And this, as I said before, will be available completely free to everybody. And this is a bet check. Um, and it runs on Node.js, so it's really, really simple. Okay, and we'll cover that later. But fundamentally, I'm using exactly the same maths that they've advertised to recreate the results of any nonce position from a given server seed and a client seed. And I'm going to show you that. So all I need to do is I just need to launch that JavaScript file. Okay, and I'm using Node for this, and I just specify the name of that. So if I just go back to the code for a second, in the code here, I have specified server seed, client seed, and a nonce position. So I'm going to show you based on real bet data. So if I go to my bets here, and let's pick the bottom one here. So this is, in fairness, and here is the client server seed. What we're particularly interested in is the nonce. So if I go back to Visual Studio Code and I change the nonce position to this, and then save that. So that was 65.15. So if we just bring up the Node.js here and I rerun it. Sixty-five point one five. Sixty-five point one five. I know the maths is perfect. So if we say for example the next bet up, the result of that is fifty-four point four six and that is nonce position that'd be additional increment and nonce position to 47 so if we go back to visual studio code and we go back to chip bet and we change that to 47 and then we save that and we go back to the screen we rerun it 54 4.46 is exactly right now you could do this a thousand times over in fact stake have a validity checker so you can basically check these over and over again so you can and it's much quicker now basically what I've done I've this code recreates this website and you think to yourself why have I actually bothered with that because it's there and ready available and I tell you the reason why I've done that because this becomes immensely powerful. Now I can recreate exactly what the casino is doing. <laughs> I can simulate real betting based on a real server seed and a real client seed. And I've written some code to do exactly that. But like I say, this, this 
Chatbear will be available as open source and you'll freely download it guys and if you at the moment it's been programmed just for dice I will go back to that for a moment Let's, let me show you that now let's go back to Visual Studio Code the check bear is written purely just for dice roll I'm going to create one for all of the stake originals games that uses the seed I can't do limbo limbo is a strange one because it's just, there's a couple of games that have shared seeds so we'll have to exclude those yeah, so going back for the code, yeah, this is going to be available on the GitHub repository below. And like I say, I plan to create one for each particular game so that we can test things. And the reason we're going to do that is because I then use this code and I thought, well, actually, because I do a lot of betting using bots, I can use that to simulate the casino as if it was real. So I've got a simulated casino based on a real seed and a real client seed. And so I've written some further code here. And again, I will make this freely available. And it's here. It's called Simulate Bets. When you get into the world of betting on the seed, you are in a complete realm of unknown. Everybody is, you're into a leap of faith. <laughs> you have absolutely no idea what the outcome is. And I found myself completely fascinated with all of this, particularly around the maths around it, statistical analysis, analysis the coding, you know, people that might know me not, might know of me for Project Alphaverse. Project Alphaverse is back up and running, by the way. I'm not running it at the moment. And there is a reason I'm not running it, which I'm going to show in a moment. Uh, it's now up and running again, but only on dice. It doesn't work on Dragon Tail for some bizarre reason. Now, when I run Alphaverse, I'm getting a huge amount of bets. So I'm going to go to my spreadsheet for the moment. Now, this is a spreadsheet that I wrote was specifically for Dragon Tower, but the mass behind it doesn't really matter. I'm just basically saying on an 18% win chance at 22.03, uh, 22.3% on each win loss. So I've done some testing and I've done some testing using Alphaverse and I put 170 bots in play and I played it for a number of period of days and I was actually doing real betting and the numbers that came out spooked me. I didn't lose, but it spooked me enough to stop and I've drained everything down. I've cashed out. <laughs> okay. Um, and this is why... Uh, Alphaverse looks like that. So I did some data mining and I did some stats and I looked at everything. And if we want to look at the stats here, now I ran it for a number of period of days, and in total I did 127,531,153 bets over a duration of a number of days. And when the bit that I really wanted to know what is the maximum loss streak? So I took every single bot and I mapped out what the max streak was and I kept a record of the maximum loss streak and it truly was fascinating in the range of um, and I put it all into this matrix and this matrix was there purely for the purpose for me to be able to produce this graph and this is where they normally stick out because when I first saw this I thought foul play Fuck me, blatantly obvious the casino are cheating. You know, it averages around here on pretty much every bot. 57, 64, you know, you can see a bell curve nominal distribution here starting to form if you'd like, draw it around here. And then right out here, you have these anomalies. I hit 88 loss streak. 88 loss streak. That was it. I recovered it, but it was expensive and it was scary. And I didn't know on the 88th bet, you know, you know, because when you start looking at that, let's go to the validity checker. On the 88th bet, it starts getting very large numbers. Okay, so it gets very scary at that sort of level. And I honestly thought, foul play here, that it falls so far out of the bell curve nominal distribution that something's amiss. And this is what's forced me down this route to basically recreate that so what I did I took one account I reset the server seed so I was able to get the server seed unhashed I knew the client seed nonce is irrelevant I took a position where we were in the nonce and, and I verified 88 was exactly right and this what brings us into the next part because on Visual Studio I wrote this code here that's called simulate bets and this is going to take things to a whole new level. 
Now before I run this, I want to show you, I mean, I am using Qbot to simulate the exact same bit. Qbot for me has been running there for five days, 30 minutes and seven seconds. It's done 42 million bets. And the worst it's seen is a 76 loss streak. Again, does that not add weight to the fact that um, 88 is so far out of the normality? Something is being manipulated. That's what I thought. That is genuinely what I thought. Now, the Qbot is great. You can see the speed of bet in it, but it's taken five days to do 42 million bets. Now, when I'm playing on, on Alphaverse, and I have all the bots running over here, on a good day, I can get over 10,000 bets an hour. So if we look at that here, I can get 10,000 bets an hour on a per bot. That means per bot, I can get 240,000 bets an hour. I had 170 bots in play, which means I was doing 40,800,000 bets a day. <laughs> Let's put that into perspective now, because if we go back to odds and probability, one in 46,000 does not seem so extreme anymore. Does that make sense? So like if I'm doing 40,000 bets a day, so you could pretty much say that that is going to appear at least once every other day. So it isn't beyond the realms of possibility, but I still believe there are hard limits within a, within a seed. And I wanted to know what is that hard limit? So what we want to simulate is a year's run in on a single bot isolation, the number of bets. So if we said on average we've got 10,000 bets per hour per bot. So what I want to simulate is a single bot isolation and an entire year's worth of run in. If we said that we got on average 10,000 bets per hour and over the duration of one year it's 604,800,000. So what I've done, I've changed the code here so it represents 604,800,000 bets. And we're going to run that through the simulation as if it was real betting. But bear in mind, this is all we're really keeping track of is the max loss streak because that's the bit that we're interested in most of all. So I've changed the code to 604,800,000 bets here, which will represent an entire year's running. Now, how quick can we run for that betting? And bear in mind, all we're particularly interested in here is the actual maximum loss streak. So I can just run this command. And look at this, guys. So I'm literally getting 420,000 bets per second. So this is going to run for an entire year's worth of betting in no time. What I'm measuring here, yes, and what I'm measuring here is obviously the progress, the total number of bets, and already we've done 15 million bets, and what the worst loss streak is, and what the current nonce position is, because that's important, because it, it's keeping the worst position of the worst loss streak, the nonce position of the worst loss streak. So I can go and check it. And obviously the run time, and this is the number of bets per second. Let's let this finish and I'll bring you back. There we go, guys. <laughs> I have just simulated an entire year's worth of run time in uh, 1,428.5 seconds. So 1,400, that is 23.8 minutes. <laughs> There's nothing out there that can go faster, guys. Nothing. Interestingly, we got a max loss streak of 94. I'm not non position there. So we can actually double check that. And I'm going to make a note of that. And we're going to do that. But before I just double check that, I've made a note of the figures here, the last non position. I'm going to reset the seed because basically I've been doing a lot of testing on this. And this is at non position 10,152,645,000. 775 it started out and to be honest you would never reach that on any seeds so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go into visual studio code and i'm going to reset the nonce position which is here to one so to simulate if it was you know starting with a new seed so i'm just going to run the command again and leave that running there and in the background there i'm just going to double check these nonces so bear in a second 
So if the bot was correct, so I've taken it to the last position, to the last nonce when it run, and then we had 94 losses, I believe. And if I'm right, I should better count 94 losses here. If anything above 18 would be a loss. I'll do this one. Right, so I'm going to go backwards. <laughs> so I found the nonce position there. So, and I'm going to go count backwards, and it should be 90. I think we said 94, wasn't it? So that was a win. One, two, three, four, five. Ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four. Now, if we're correct, this one, next one should be a winner. Ninety five in it, bloody what it is. That verifies me that that simulating the actual real game using a real server seed and real client seed is a hundred percent accurate, guys. That's exactly what I want to see. But it doesn't end here. I've got more to show. I have more I want to show you. So I mentioned before. I have got Alphaverse back up. Now the question I thought, could I use the knowledge that I've got to simulate the casino to and use it on Alphaverse? Because that would be absolutely crazy. And that's what I plan to do. I plan to get there, guys. And so early stages at the moment. So I've written a bot that basically, I'll show you the bot. I'll show you the bot here in Visual Studio Code. And I've called it DiceBot Simulator. So in there, I've got the server seed. I've got the client seed. And I got the start position, nonce number one. And here I'm simulating as if I was really gambling, and so that is that's the key thing. And I gave it a fake balance of like a, a million, <laughs> just so I can see that. So if we go back to Alphaverse, I can actually run a dice bot, and obviously it's going to be super quick, guys. Obviously. Now this is going to be fascinating, and this is the point where. I'm reaching out to you guys. This is a call to arms. I'm going to make all this stuff openly available free on GitHub. I'm sure there are many people out there who can enhance the code. I'm going to be working on bots for each of the games. Um, but I think some people could write skins for this. So, you know, they could put a GUI on it. You know, I am encourage you. Create forks. Go out there and let's build upon this. But the call for arms is for seeds. Now I've only simulated one bot, you know, basically one year's running. And I did that in 28 minutes. And that shows the p potential power here. So I'm going to show you one more thing. There's going to be lots of links in this uh, description of this video. <laughs> um, but one of them will be a link to this uh, workbook here. And it's a shared seed bank. So basically what we're asking for community members is to contribute spent or old real client seed and server seeds and obviously you could put you who the contributor is and be you don't have to but this is available to anybody and i want us to share remember we're like-minded people we want to help each other and the more seeds we can get the more testing we want to we can do i want to get to 170 if i can get 170 i could, I could simulate the entire alphaverse and i'm going to be working on that over the coming days if i can get one working then i can get 170 working and it'd be very very interesting to see how that come out <laughs> the speed is going to be a massive interest you know and in there and i'm going to be simulating real gambling you know 94 lost streak tells you that 88 was not an anomaly it's expected somewhere down the line okay it would have taken a long time but yeah this tells you tells you a lot and if we was to look at to cover 94 I'd have had to increase the recovery pot to 141,000 on top of what the what's there at the moment. And these are the things we need to be aware of. These, you know, as community members, like-minded people, we need to know these extremes. Because when you start gambling, you know, on the seed, you're in an, an utter realm of unknowns. And you can use fantastic tools. You can use tools like QBot. But it doesn't give you a full picture because it's look at that that says 76 over 42 million bets unfortunately that is not enough data we need much 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 more data to get a true reflection right if you stuck around this long it tells me that you guys are serious and if you guys are serious again in the link 
there's going to be an invite to my Discord, but more importantly, reach out to me on Twitter. Let me show you that. Yeah, guys, please come over and reach over to me at BTC Gambler. So twitter.com forward slash BTC Gambler BTC. Leave me a message if you want to know anything. That's always the best place to catch me is over at Twitter. You can leave me a message there. And uh, if you want to know access to the Discord, you want access to the code, you want access to the spreadsheet, or you've got any questions at all, please, I'm here to support every one of you guys. So this is the best place to get hold of me. Well, let's before we do go, let's just check the status of that uh, last run. I'll hang around till that finishes, and we we'll see what result we got there. We're at max loss streak of eighty-seven there on start of a seed. I'll bring you back. There we go. That's finished for the second time. We've just completed another entire year's worth of gambling. Six hundred and four million eight hundred thousand bets in yeah twenty odd minutes. In this instance, it went to ninety. 90 loss streak, you know, that proves to me that the 88 was not an anomaly. That's the normality. And this is the reason why I'm asking you guys now, please, I'm asking you, hit that like button <clears throat> and subscribe. And the reason you, I'm asking you to do that is not for notoriety or self-fame. It's because of the YouTube search algorithm. Everybody that plays Stake Original Games needs to see this video. If you're going to be a gambler, at least be an educated gambler. That's what I say to you. That's what BTC Gambler is all about. That's what my Discord is all about. That's what I'm all about. This is what my Twitter is all about. You know, come and find me. Come and find me on Twitter. Leave me a message. Yeah, and please spread the word. Share this video with people because I think this is really important knowledge that people need to know. Know your enemy collectively. You know, this takes away... All of the unknowns that are associated with gambling and on the seed. This is by far the most thorough testing and the fastest test you can do to simulate an entire year's running. Guys, imagine what this is going to be like on now for us. Imagine, imagine. I cannot wait to get it up and running, but I need seeds and I need your help and I need your help to spread the word on this as well. I really hope you found that useful and I'll speak to you all again with an update very soon.